video I'm going to take you through setting up your MetaMask wallet. So this is the go-to wallet for ERC20 or Ethereum addresses. It is open source and very easy to download for your browser. You can also get it for your iOS or Android account. It is a very similar process. So for the sakes of this video I'm just going to show you how to install it on your Chrome browser. So this is also available on Brave. So definitely worth checking out these videos, worth going through. So add the extension to your browser. It'll take you through getting started. So we're gonna set up a new wallet. If you already have a wallet, you can recover it here. So we'll go through the recovery phrase here in a second. And agree. So I'm going to use, of course, this is a dummy wallet, so do not share your recovery seeds anywhere or your recovery phrase. I'm going to take you through how to set that up here quick. It's worth watching this uh, video as well, but we're going to go through it here together. So store this phrase in a password manager. Uh, or write it down and have it somewhere secure like a gun safe. So this is some good recommendations. Nobody legit will ever ask for your backup keys or your phrase. So they're a scammer if they're asking for them. Now we're going to have to write this down. Otherwise they won't let us pass the next point. Okay, so we got that wrote down. It's going to come in here and we're going to get a quiz. So we have to put it in order. It is case sensitive, keep in mind. Click all of these and confirm. So congratulations, you passed the test. Make sure to keep your recovery phrase safe. It is your responsibility and you do need it to recover your wallet in case you lose your phone, lose access to your internet, or lose access to your laptop or whatever, right? So MetaMask cannot recover your secret recovery phrase for you. So that is it. We can add it as well. So if you want to download MetaMask to your phone, simply scan the QR code and it will allow you to do that. So we can name this whatever we want. We can view on Etherscan, which is where we're gonna verify transactions so that we can see it's a fresh wallet, right? So no matching entries as you have more and more transactions those will be stored publicly right so that is it for this video we're going to get into setting custom networks later on as well as additional storage options so i will see you in the next video